Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadbe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will create the storage account, data store and the data sets. So let us go to the Azure Machine Learning Studio and do the same. Till now we created the workspace and the compute cluster. Now in this tutorial, we will create storage account, data store and the data sets. So here I am on the Azure portal, click on machine learning. This is the workspace that we have created Azure ML hyphen WS01. Click on that. Now launch the Azure Machine Learning Studio. Go to compute. Then compute clusters. This is the compute cluster that we have created. So till now we have created the workspace and the compute cluster. Now we will create a storage account, data store and data sets. First we will create the storage account. Open new tab. Go to Azure portal. Search here. Storage accounts. This storage account is created while creating the workspace. We have to create the new one. Click on create. Here we have to specify the details. Subscription. Mine is pay as you go. We will go with this resource group. Azure ML hyphen RG01. Then we have to specify the storage account name. I'll specify Azure ML storage account for the workspace 01. Then we have to specify the region. I'll select West US. I am selecting the region as West US because we have created the workspace in the same region. Now scroll down. Keep all other things as default. Click on review plus create. Running final validation. Validation passed. Here you can see all the details. Now click on create. Initializing the deployment. Now submitting the deployment. And the deployment is in progress. For the creation of the storage account, it will take few minutes. So I'll fast forward the process. So we have successfully created the storage account. Go to resource. I'll close the notification first. Deployment succeeded. Close this. Under the overview, we can see the details about the storage account like resource group, location, primary or secondary location, subscription, subscription ID, account kind and so on. After creating the storage account, we have to create a blob container. Click on containers. Here we have to create a container. Click on create. I'll specify the name. Data processing. Create. So we have successfully created this container. Click on that. Now in this container, we will upload the data sets. Click on upload. From here we can select the files, click on that. So these are the five data sets that we have to upload. Data set 1, data set 2, 3, 4 and 5. Select all, click on open and upload. Great. So we have created the storage account, then we have created the container in that storage account and we have uploaded the data sets. Now we will create a data store. Go to Azure Machine Learning Studio. Click on data stores. Click on new data store. First we have to specify the data store name. Azure ML underscore data store 01. Data store type, Azure blob storage, then account selection method from Azure subscription, 
this is the subscription id now we have to select the storage account to select the storage account we are getting only one option this one this is the default storage account created while creating the workspace here i am not able to select the storage account that we have created now this one azure ml st ws01 so here i'll wait for some time and after that i'll be able to select the storage account that we have created refresh now click on new data store i'll specify the name azure ml underscore data store 01 storage type azure blob storage then account selection method from azure subscription this is the subscription id now click on storage account here you can see now we can select the storage account that we have created now select this one here we are selecting the storage account as well as the resource group now click on blob container so this is the blob container that we have created under the storage account select this one blob container as data processing now scroll down authentication type we will go with the account key and after that we have to specify the account key to get the account key go to storage account that we have created this one scroll down click on access keys show keys here we have two keys key 1 and key 2 i'll select this one key 1 copy and paste that's it to create a data store we have to specify all these information data store name data store type account selection method subscription id the storage account blob container authentication type and authentication key now click on create it's creating create success successfully created data store so this is the data store that we have created now azure ml underscore ds01 click on that under the overview you will get all the details about this data store data store name data store type created by subscription id resource group name protocol endpoint account name this is the storage account name that we have specified blob container and so on after creating the data store we have to create the data sets to do that click on data set create data set from data store i'll specify the data set name data set 1 data set type tabular and i'll not specify the description here click on next here we have to select or create a data store i'll select the data store that we have created this one azure ml underscore ds01 so this is the azure blob storage storage account name storage type and data store name select this one now we have to browse and select the data set click on browse so these are the five data sets that we have uploaded under the container select data set 1 save now click on next here i'll keep all the information as default file format delimited delimiter comma encoding utf-8 column headers all files have same headers skip rows none so this is the data set preview now click on next so these are the column names in this data set these are the properties then the data type for each column like integer integer string and so on and at the end 
format settings and example. So here we will select all the columns and we are not selecting the path. Now click on next. Now we have to confirm details. Basic info, data store selection and file settings. Create. So we have successfully created this data set here. Data set one. In similar way, we have to create another four data sets. Data set two, data set three, four and five. Create from data store. Data set two. Keep all other things as default. Next. Data store this one. Browse. Data set two. Save. Next. Keep all other things as default. Next. Next. Create. Data set two. Now create again from data store. Data set three. Next. Data store. Select data set three. Save. Next. Next. Next and create. Great. Create again. Data set four. Data store. Data set four. Next. Next. Next and create. Great. Now we have to create one more. Data set five. Next. Select data store. Select the data set. Next. Next. Next and create. So we have successfully created these five data sets from data set one to data set five. Let us revise the steps that we have performed in this tutorial. First, we have created the storage account, this one, Azure ML ST WS01. And after that, we have created a container. Name of this container is data processing. And under that container, we have uploaded these five data sets. After creating the storage account and container, we have created the data store, this one, Azure ML underscore DS01. And at the end, we have created these five data sets. Click on any of these data set. Here you will get all the information about the selected data set. So this tutorial about creating the storage account, data store and data sets ends here. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.